I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. I believe in the long haul of focused effort over time, effectively aiming at changing what needs to be changed irrespective of dates and numbers on a calendar. I mean, if you need something to change, don't wait until the end of the year. Change it when you have to. That being said, the change of the numbers of a year can be a good opportunity for reflection on the last 365 days, thinking about lessons learned and what good you'll carry over into the new number, into the new year. This video is one such reflection. It's a very short review of where the year took me and what I've learned and what I'll bring into 2024. And also, if you stick around, I'll reveal the four strategic themes we'll be following at al Insurance in 2024. So stay tuned. 2023 has indeed been a busy year and many of you has asked me what happened to me after I left the man because suddenly I was in London and now I'm back again in the Middle East. The merger between Pure Health and Daman brought changes in structure and processes, as is normal for all mergers. And I couldn't see myself fitting well into the new world, so I left in the very beginning of 2023 to take on a role as Chief Transformation Officer at AXA Global Healthcare in London, where I was set out to establishing a global transformation office. However exciting that role was and is, it was always meant to be an interim position because we couldn't make the ends quite meet of moving the whole family from Abu Dhabi to the UK. Being the CTO and part of a massive global organization was a fantastic journey. We were building the transformation office from scratch, establishing the governance and structure together with a team from Deloitte UK, streamlining new business innovations to ensure adequate resourcing and proper performance management during and after deployment into the organization. For me personally, it was good to be back in Europe and get a shot of the latest management trends. Here in Europe, focus is increasingly on inclusiveness and equality, and I'm happy to be able to strengthen this in my daily work as CEO. Europe also has a very mature and strong compliance and government framework for financial institutions, and there are lots of inspirations and ideas to bring into the Middle Eastern market in this respect also. From the CTO with AXA in 2023, I will carry a strengthened focus of an inclusive workplace and strong governance of everything we do into 2024. And of course, a wide range of great fun experiences and new friends. During 2023, I also had the privilege to work secretly on a high-profile digital insurance project that made me relive all the excitement and challenges of a digital startup. The last time I did that was years ago when we built the first digital end-to-end -end consumer portal in the Middle East. Well, I can't say much more about this new project, but it's alive and kicking and I'm sure we'll see a successful launch in the new year. From this project, I'll take a greater understanding of the Middle Eastern cultures with me into 2024. I'll take a renewed focus on things don't have to be complicated. Keep it simple. Significant inspiration for a future state of the insurance industry. And again, lots of new friends. Contract and regulatory approvals fell in place, so I could officially join al by Insurance as CEO on November 13th, 2023. Needless to say, this is a milestone in my career and personal ambition to make an impact in the insurance sector in the Middle East and all over the world. We've done more in the company in six weeks than most do over the course of a year. I've built an exceptionally strong senior management team around me with senior profiles from the industry ready to bring Alvatba onto another level. And bringing us to another level has already begun with significant wins on the cost you are on and partnership front closely aligned with a series of internal projects to ensure we are able to constantly deliver on the high service levels we are known for. To ensure we continue the path of growing the right way, bringing the teams with us all the way and maintaining profitability, I've centered our senior management team around four strategic themes, which will ensure focus and alignment across the entire organization. These four themes are people, position, progress, and profits. And allow me to elaborate briefly. It's no secret that we won't get anywhere without our people. So our head of people will have a great task ahead of her, securing adequate personal development for our employees, clear and easy to understand career paths, and a general focus on inclusiveness, 
and communication in and about the process we are making at El Watba during the year. The second P, position, is all about repositioning El Watba in the market. I personally strongly believe insurance is a product that helps companies and individuals recover financially after an unfortunate incident. So we're setting out a mission to make insurance available to everyone. Today, we already have the breadth of products and they are all available online, but we need to work even more on our product offerings and pricing strategies to ensure we reach as many as possible. Having the right position in the market is crucial to making progress. The third P, where focus is on entering new lines of business, expanding into new customer segments and increasing focus on servicing and maintaining our strong existing customer portfolio. Lastly, we need means of funding our growth adventure and we won't have the money to invest without being profitable. The fourth P of the strategic themes. We have already initiated a series of process automation initiatives and this will move into improved claims management and advances within AI for fraud, waste and abuse. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself and I'm all excited about our 2024. These were the strategic themes for the year for Al Watba, people, position, progress and profit. I'm certain you'll hear much more about this and our progress over the course of this new year. I'll stop here. I thank you very much for your time and wish you all a very happy new year. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.